Your Excellency, Madam First Lady, thank you so much for blessing us with your time at this First Lego League Second Edition Final. I am Brian Shema, together with Tracy Agasaro, and it is our honor to be the MCs today. Now, at this moment, it is my honor to welcome Amelia, the founder of STEM Inspires, to take us through the robot game. Thank you. Well, it's such an honor to have you here. And as you can see, we're going to jump right in. We have eight fields up here. And this is the robot field. So this is where the robots compete. Sort of like a football field, this is their game field. Each student has these kits that have been given to the schools. And they've been building these past six months these different robots any way they'd like. They have two and a half minutes to try to score as many points on this field and they have all these different designs. These here, you can see, are some attachments that they've created to complete these missions. So, for example, one of the missions would be to trigger this 3D cinema, and so that would get points. And there are 14 different missions on this field. And so, when we have a timer, we'll say start. They have two and a half minutes, and then they try to get as many points as they can on the field. That's, I think, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go through one match so you can see and witness it. These are the schools we have here. I'm not sure, can we um, put up the timer if possible? Actually, let's put up the queuing and you can see the teams that we have here and then we'll get a match going. <laughs> yes, you can see them. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, we're going to set the timer. Is the timer up? And it will be displayed up there, and then it will have a countdown. Fantastic. Okay, are you teams ready? Yeah. Okay. Owen, you want to start the timer? Three, two, one. The match begins. Okay, so as you can see here, we have different teams. This is a team from Nigeria, and they're going and completing these different tasks. These are the home bases. This is where they're allowed to touch the robot. They're not allowed to touch it anywhere else. And so they've been programming it. This is one team. This is another team over here. As you can see, they're changing their attachments in the corners. They pick them up, and they put it down. So this one's going to do the sound mixer. They got some, and they brought it down. These are the different attachments, and they're going to put them on, and they have different runs they program. So they had to deliver a little person, and they did that. One minute left on the clock. Here we have one of the primary schools, New Generation Academy. This is from 9 to 16 years old. And we have 100 schools in Rwanda doing this. So we had six regionals, and now we have the top team coming here. They're pulling the boat. Twenty seconds left on the clock. Time and we up. have a win.
A round of applause to the teams. A round of applause to the teams. Now at this moment, at this moment, I would like to invite the Minister of Education, Gaspar Tkwajirayezu, for his remarks. Your Excellency, First Lady, on behalf of all the students who are here in the room, the parents and the educators, I want to thank you very much for taking the time and come and join us in this final of the first Lego League and the AI Hackathon. <clears throat> Your Excellency, what you just saw is a final phase of a competition that we began last November. And it's a competition that has involved 100 schools here in Rwanda and different schools from across Africa. In this room, we have teams from Rwanda, teams from Botswana, teams from Nigeria, and teams from Uganda. And Your Excellency, as you have seen, we organize this in the form of a sports competition. And we do this because we want our students to discover the joy of working together, competing, learning, and develop that confidence that not only can we see our own challenges, but our students can also believe they can be the solution. To believe that they can, provide the solution to the challenges that we have. Robotics and AI, these are new technologies, and we want our students to develop that confidence that even if it looks like a magic, but it's the magic that they can conquer. It's the magic that they can use to be able to solve the different challenges that we have here on the continent, but also elsewhere. And what you have seen, Your Excellency, uh, these students over the last six months, they have been developing that spirit of working together as teams, but also as you have seen, they have a timer. So meaning this is to simulate the real world, we never have enough time. So they have to figure out a solution in 2.5 uh, minutes, and this is to ensure that they can also keep in mind that uh, everything should be done its own time. Your Excellency, we would not have done this if it's not for the partners that we have. I would want to take a minute to recognize all the partners we have here in the room. I would start with the first Lego League. Uh, this is the second uh, version of the competition that we have had and it's been growing and we hope that next year we will grow this room and even find a bigger venue because we have more schools and hopefully more countries uh, joining. I also want to thank uh, Coderina, uh, STEM Inspires, uh, International Baccalaureate and the Global Learning Council that have helped with the AI competition, uh, the ICT Chamber, the Ministry of ICT and Innovation, the Rwanda Basic Education Board, and all the partners that I did not mention here, but who know that we are very grateful for their support. Your Excellency, this is not going to end in this competition, but we have also been working to ensure that these principles that you have seen here are also part of the curricula that we teach in our schools so that our students can grow with that spirit, with that confidence that uh, all these new technologies do not belong to a certain type of people, but this is something that they can also do and can use to solve our challenges. And now, Your Excellency, it's my pleasure to invite you to deliver your remarks to these future engineers. Thank you, sir. Hello, good afternoon.
first of all, I'm very happy to be here uh, joining you and uh, to witness uh, what you've been doing that is uh, of great interest uh, to all of us, to the country, I know many other countries, and our continent generally. So I congratulate you, I thank you uh, for participation, I'm sure, and the competition, but I'm sure we will indeed have more people uh, coming to be with us next time. I want to make sure that uh, I don't forget anything, but and starting with uh, thanking and congratulating particular countries uh, that are here with us. That is Botswana, Nigeria, and Uganda. Thank you for being here. Robotics and artificial intelligence are outstanding ways to learn science, engineering, technology, and also teamwork. I'm very happy with the results of the National Robotics Program and the competition and the Artificial Intelligence Hackathon. I want to extend thanks and congratulations to the sponsors, organizers of the first uh, Lego League, Global Learning Council, GIZ. If I've left uh, any name, uh, you will forgive me for that, but we thank you very much. Now, a very special thanks to our friends and the family who are Greg, Wyler, and Amelia. Thank you. These are part of us for many years. And uh, they have brought this to happen with the other collaborators. So Greg and Amelia, we give you a special thanks. <clears throat> Something else. I want to make a small contribution toward this effort, especially to the participants, Rwandans, people from Botswana, from Nigeria, from Uganda, those who are with us. I want to make sure I work with the Minister of uh, Education, our Minister of Education, and our Minister of ICT. But I will not bother you uh, with the budget. It is. Uh, I want to give uh, our young people, uh, a laptop each of these participants.
a, a computer, in other words. So, Minister of ICT, Minister of Education, uh, just make sure you deliver my gifts to those who uh, I'm referring to. I, I have the money in my pocket right here, so. <laughs> So that's why I was saying I, I, I won't bother you with the budget and things don't, uh, so I'll take care of it. Um, and uh, you remember I said, including those from other countries other than Rwanda. Yes. So, a happy weekend to you, and all the best to you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. May we kindly ask you to join us for the awarding ceremonies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. May we kindly join us for the awarding ceremonies. Thank you.